Welcome back to my Unreal World New Player Guide series. So we just traded a lot of the elk meat we cooked away. We got a couple of arctic fox furs. We need to get away from people in order to zoom back out. We're going to head back to our temporary home base. We can go into F6 to see where it is, so it's quite a bit north and a little bit west of here. And we can kind of pick our, our route back so as to reveal more of the map. Get rid of those some of those black um, areas. Okay, so the elk skin is still being prepared. It's notor it, elk skin takes a notoriously long time to uh, turn into fur. Uh, reindeer is quite a bit quicker, and then smaller animals even quicker than that. Now, in a normal game I would have sold more of my elk cuts than this. Keeping 32 is kind of too many because they could very well go stale and then rot before I'm able to finish eating them all but I didn't want to spend 20 minutes uh, looking for things to buy etc. Okay. Um, what else can we do say remember our weapon specialty is uh, the spear so that means spears and javelins I think is pretty much it and there's different kinds of spears there's uh, cultural spears uh, the Komale spear is the most powerful spear in the game but they're fairly difficult to acquire maybe you started with one if you did hold on to it. So you might be saying, well, yeah, that first hunt was silly. We just used a rock. I want to I want to throw a javelin or I want to, you know, injure the animal, make it easier to hunt, which it does make it easier to hunt. So let's uh, start the process of making a javelin. And the first step is um, making a staff. So, in order to make staves, you need slender trunks, staves, you need slender trunks. Um, go into what? No, go into lumber. A little bit counterintuitive there. And it wants to use my hand axe. So, I thought it might want to use the fine woodsman's axe, but I like to let the game tell me which, which article or which tool it wants to use for a specific task. So I dropped my Woodsman's Axe. I've got 1% penalty. Get rid of all of your fatigue. And that maximizes your chance of getting a decent staff out of this process. So we go into Lumber, Staff. You can make two at once. I prefer to do it one at a time. I got a crude staff, that's not what I wanted. I find often the first time you make something, the game gives you a lousy outcome. Hopefully we do better with this one. Lumber staff. Decent staff, okay. So now, We'll keep doing this until we're extremely tired, which should be shortly. Um, cut down a... Tr oh, here's another one. Actually, I'm going to repeat. So hit 
down in the bottom right it says repeat so craft an item r one another decent staff so two of the three have been decent those are the ones i'm going to use to make javelins with uh, i'm going to cut down a small tree to get more slender trunks both to build a fire with and maybe i'll make one more decent staff so, to, so we can be sure that we have a few uh, decent javelins. Timbercraft, fell a tree. For that, I should have used my woodsman's axe. But not a huge difference when it's just a small tree. It would have just saved time. Um, now I'm extremely tired, so I'm going to drop these over here and eat some of my roasted bear cut and drop everything and go to sleep heard some rustle stand up look around don't see any rustle go back to sleep okay uh, I'm getting a little thirsty. Did I? Oh. Have a drink. Eat something for breakfast. That something roasted. Excuse me. Um, okay, so the elk skin is ready for the next process. We pick it up, make sure we're next to some open water, uh, make sure we have no fatigue. This is less important when it's a harsh skin, but if you're lucky enough to be working with a decent skin or a fine skin, you definitely want to take good care of this. So uh, make sure you have no fatigue and aren't carrying a bunch of stuff. All I'm carrying is the elk skin. Go into hide working, tan the skin. Et voila, okay. So that will be ready by late evening. As I said, elk uh, skins take a very long time. So to make a fire, I use three twigs or three branches and a slender trunk. You can use something else, but that's what I use and it works well for me. Okay, but before we start that fire, Let's make a few more staves. We were using our hand axe. And let's make three more. And at least two decent. So again, get rid of your fatigue. Make sure all you're carrying is the axe. So you have a 1% penalty. Um, lumber. Staff. Okay, drop the one you just made. And do it again. Drop the one you just made. And do it again. Okay, so as you can see, um, decent is a very common outcome and my theory that it's just the first time you do something you get a bad result seems to be supported by the evidence now if you have a if your axe isn't any good like it has a negative modifier like inferior or I think that's what it would be called an inferior axe or something like that you might struggle to make decent staves but I, 
you know, if you end up with, with staves that aren't decent and you followed all my instructions, then just use the staves that you have for this next step. But try to get decent ones. So we're going to, well, we don't really need to rest off fatigue to build a fire. Okay, so we made a fire. Hooray. And we don't have anything to cook. Well, it gives the game gives you a fresh pike, and uh, you can cook the pike. You've seen me cook. Um, this this series isn't about following the tutorial. It's just to teach you the things I think you need to know. So I'm going to just discard this uh, pike. Okay. Now. Uh, we were making javelins. So pick up your five staves. Um, let's see which axe it wants. I think it's an axe. Let's see. It might be both. Preferably an axe. Okay. So get rid of all your fatigue again. You didn't go to all this trouble in order to mess up your javelins and um, only do one at a time so that you're not carrying very much. Carrying as little as possible. You wanted to use the hand axe so go put the, I'm going to put the woodsman's axe away and okay now we're ready. Javelin one. Okay. Decent javelin. First try. Excellent. Drop it over here. Actually, no. Um, I'm going to drop it in my shelter. Pick up the next staff. Get rid of the fatigue. And, oh, is it? Okay. I think it grabbed a nearby staff instead of the, using the one in my inventory. So I'm going to move them further away so it doesn't do that. Um, repeat. One. I have no fatigue. 1% carrying penalty. Got a decent javelin. Drop at my shelter, pick up the next staff, get rid of fatigue, repeat. Decent javelin, drop it in the shelter, grab the next staff, rest off fatigue, repeat. Decent javelin. Drop at my shelter, pick up the next staff, rest off fatigue, repeat. So just like that, I have five decent javelins. Um, and those are very uh, powerful weapons that you can throw. And if you level the skill, I don't know if your skill will be at 85%, but it should be up there. So that the next time you see an elk, you don't have to just run around with a rock in your hand. You can throw a javelin at it. That'll slow it down if you hit it and make it easier to hunt. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode and I will see you next time.